ship from this building about 25 million garments a year. Uh, on days like today, after a, a, a big hot market event like the NBA championship last night, um, we're going to probably ship about 100,000 championship locker room t-shirts to the San Antonio area. For the CrossFit Games for the last two years, we've actually used these guys on site to print more products. So when we run out of product at the, uh, at the retail tent, which has happened the last couple of years, these guys have helped us do it. Oh, screen printing. I took the screen printing class in high school. You did? Yeah. You know what these are then? These are screens. You your face yeah. right in the yeah. middle when you're on the podium. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. We're going to have like a little podium character. Yeah, I mean, that's, we should do that. It. I mean, it would be a totally that's cool a idea. idea. I think that all these guys, funky faces together. Now, you got to you gotta not get your feelings hurt if we take liberties with, the, uh, with your face. Just want to show you that they are, they are doing something other than uh, NBA hot market today. They are actually packing some CrossFit related goods. This is my favorite part of this because every time I think of Raiders of the Lost, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Have you ever seen Raiders of the Lost Ark, the movie? You've never seen Raiders of the Lost Ark. They bury the they bury the Ark in a warehouse full of boxes, and the vision of the the visual of the end of the movie is this. It's actually weird. It's, it's, I can't believe that it's so close. It's like only a few weeks away. It doesn't feel like does it? I don't I don't think it's hit me yet. I think maybe. A couple more weeks when it gets when it's right here, maybe it'll hit me. But this past weekend, actually, we've been here in Indianapolis training with Naptown's team, um, and then we're going to do another similar weekend in two weeks in Maximus in Lexington, and then I think like two weeks before the games, we're going to do a big camp at Hyperfit. And that's why these weekends help just to kind of be in a different environment, have different people to train with, um, have you get a little bit out of your element and um, get used to that. That's always helpful, yeah. Go yeah, right? so blue, yeah. <laughs> this is where CrossFit gets done, and it's actually funny to see the size of this station comparatively to just what we saw out there. But um, this is where we apply all the heat transfers to the garments that uh, you're going to receive. There's the uh, 21,000 impressions that we're doing, 10,000 garments for 556 athletes. This process started a year ago, where we ordered all the product and we brought it in. Then as all the regionals finish, we collect all that data, we feed it into this group. This process is going for six weeks straight from the time that we got the first information to essentially just to before the game. So those 556 athletes, those 10,000 units are literally being hand printed applied every day. So that's, that's the size and scale of the operation. Um, I Malls, I think of. We was trying to figure out yeah. who could wear the little bitty shirts <laughs> <laughs> to be so strong. <laughs> All of the male and female CrossFit athletes have informed what we do from the you know, construction of the product to the, the cut of the product to the fabrics we use. I mean, Stacy loved the white short short, you know. Um, she's So she popularized that. Some of the athletes, though, don't always want to be short short and so we created the longer short this year we have a five inch short but most of our elite athletes want minimal coverage so to speak because they don't want to be cumbered by the product so that's why there's a lot of bras and short shorts out there. I heard there's like a laser design of Austin Maliolo so whenever they do prototype stuff it's always to his uh, body type. <laughs> that's, a, that's a rumor. No, no he just happens to be uh, close to us and we uh, he, he, he he picks up stuff all the time and he tests stuff for us. And as you know, he likes to likes to talk a lot and he likes to pass, pass along feedback, which we don't mind getting from him. So, so there aren't like a bunch of Austin Maliola mannequins that we talk about? <laughs> no, no. It's a little more standardized than, than Austin's body type. <laughs> a little taller. We're going with the, um, the athlete's name on the front of the garment. So uh, last year it was a big number on the front, so now we're talking about uh, the athlete's name, so it's a more recognizable name. You still get the back number read, but that's a difference in terms of like how we're branding the athlete this year. Name on the front, number on the back. And that was something that Dave and Justin and the team wanted to really uh, highlight the name of, uh, of the athletes, which we thought was a good idea too. There'd be like 7,000 people there over the four days. We were literally sold out of everything like Friday afternoon. And people were just done. Grabbing it, take it, I'll take one without trying it on. It was just bananas. And that was a, that's when we said, oh, we, I think we've got something going here. You know, I mean, this community is completely hyped about a company that makes product for them. And that was one of the craziest 
couple of days we'd ever spend.